Hello, welcome to my Sins 2 Uberhood. My name is Brianna Peppers, and today we're going to be joining the Pleasant family with Daniel Pleasant, his new wife Erin, and their two children, Evan and Gemma. They actually have moved back to Pleasant View. Daniel and Erin lived downtown for a while, but they decided now that their family is growing, they need to be back in the suburbs. And it's going to be interesting to see how things go, considering they are now living just down the street from his ex-wife and her new husband, Mary Sue. And I can't remember her husband's name. I think it's Kenneth or something like that. Uh, of course, it's going to take a second to load. Yes, so Mary Sue, her husband Kenneth, who just a few videos ago we saw Kenneth actually having an affair with a townie. I believe it was with Jan Tellerman. So we are not going to be visiting that household today. I'm excited to get back to them eventually to figure out if things are going to go sour between Kenneth and Mary Sue because of that. But anywho, Daniel and his new wife are living down here closer to the ocean. So Daniel and Aaron, they're twins, Gemma and Evan. And if I'm not mistaken, Aaron is pregnant again. So we actually do have a new bio here. Daniel's life as a bachelor was short-lived. Once Aaron realized she was pregnant, she knew only Daniel could be the father. With no one else to pin it on, Daniel has to take up the responsibility. Will his second chance at being a husband work? Or is this relationship doomed from the start? So we're going to hop in here with them. So here we are in Daniel Pleasant's new home. This is freshly built, a uh, new property just for them. And he has quite a bit of money. He is a Hall of Famer level 10 in the athletic career. So he makes quite a lot of cash. Erin does have a job. She is a prep cook level six in the culinary career, but it has been some time since she went to work since she has been pregnant and been taking care of the toddlers. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So this is the first floor. This is going to be all new to you guys because the last time you saw Daniel Pleasant in the introduction videos for my Uberhood, uh, Daniel was still living in that apartment downtown. Aaron had just moved in with him and they had just had the babies, Evan and Gemma. So this is going to be a little bit different. I went ahead and played the family for the rest of their round off screen. So we did have a wedding. That is why they are now married. Aaron is now Aaron Pleasant. Um, she is not really the type of person that's like, oh, I'm having your baby so you have to marry me. But at the same time, she is not not getting any younger. She is now pregnant for the second time with more of Daniel's kids. Hopefully it's just a single, but it could be another pair of twins. And, um, and both the twins are in here looking at them. <laughs> So Daniel knew he needed to step up and take some responsibility. He does have a child out of wedlock with Chloe Curious, but Chloe, being a romance sim herself, was not interested in locking Daniel down, but he made the mistake of getting with Aaron. So, anywho, this is the house. So we come in, there's a little entryway. This is another bespoke build. I did not build this house, but I did decorate it, and I think I did change the walls and things like that. I don't remember. Um, it's very plain. I kind of thought that maybe this was going to be more to Erin's tastes. She doesn't really strike me as a very um, ostentatious person or a very lavish person. She kind of just has the essentials. Uh, we have a tiny table. I'm probably going to have to make this a bigger one because now that I think about it, it doesn't seem like four sims would be able to sit comfortably at that small table. Um, and over here is the small kitchen area. So it's not like it's a huge house, a mansion or anything. They probably could afford something nicer, but with more kids on the way, they have to stay within their budget. And of course, there's a pool in the backyard because Daniel just loves having a pool. And then upstairs, um, it's a little weird, but we have this landing with a computer and a desk and these two very small bedrooms. So I wasn't too happy with how small the bedrooms are. I did give Gemma the bigger one, but um, eventually they're going to have to have at least two kids per room. So I guess Gemma's going to have to share the bigger room with somebody. Uh, they have a moderately sized bathroom. Over here is Daniel and Aaron's room. I kind of decorated this more a little bit to Daniel's tastes. This is the same painting that he took from Mary Sue's house when he and Mary Sue divorced. I just like the idea of him really liking this painting. Maybe it's an heirloom or something from his father. And then they have this extremely small one tile bathroom. I wasn't sure what to do with that, but it's just like a private toilet area. There's no shower or anything like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started for the day. It's 6 a.m. Um, Aaron seems to be still in the middle of her sleep pattern, but Daniel is closer to waking up, so I'm going to go ahead and get him up for the day. And I do see here, I must have deleted the default replacement of whatever hairstyle he had, so now he's going to have a pink hat. <laughs> so we're going to have to change that, because Daniel would not be caught dead wearing a pink hat. And then whatever hairstyle he's got going on right now, this is just not... I don't know what I was thinking deleting the default replacement. I think that I was replacing it with something else, and then I didn't like it, so I took it out and I didn't put the old one back. So I'm going to change his hair real quick. 
All right, so Daniel is back, and I'm just noticing that I put wrinkles on him, and I think that it makes his nose look broken. <laughs> I mean, something weird's going on right there, but so he is only six days away from becoming an elder. Usually whenever my sims are 10 days or less from becoming an elder, I go ahead and put some wrinkles on them just to sort of differentiate them between you know, older adults and younger adults. Since my adult lifespans do go for 40 days, um, that, that's why Daniel is still an adult while his children are adults. It's a little weird, but you know, the wrinkles, yeah. You can't really see too many of them. I realize they're under his beard. This hairstyle, I wasn't sure. I felt like Daniel would probably keep his hair a little bit shorter, and yet at the same time, he's very vain, so maybe he keeps his hair longer because he knows women like it. I don't know. I just don't really have a lot of good male hairs. That's my excuse, okay? So yeah, over here, let's take a look at the twins. So we haven't seen them since they were infants. This is the elder twin. This is Evan. He was born first, so... He's got red hair and green eyes, just like his dad. He looks like he... I think that Daniel and Aaron have the same skin tone, but uh, let's look at his personality. He is a Pisces, which I believe is a future knowledge sin. That's going to be interesting. He's rather neat, very shy, kind of active, rather serious, but he is very, very nice. All right, so I like that for him. And then Gemma over here... I really adore the fact that we have a redheaded little boy and a blonde little girl, just like their mom and dad. She also has green eyes. I'm not sure what color Aaron's eyes are. I think they may also be green. She is a Cancer, so I'm trying to remember. I think Cancer is a future family sim. Uh, we'll go with that for now. And then she's rather neat, shy, sort of active, just as serious as her brother. And she is nice, but she's a little less nice than her brother, so yeah. This is going to be, these two are the 7th and 8th children, respectively, of Daniel Pleasant. It's kind of crazy. If you look at his family tree, yeah, so he already has grandchildren that are older than his newest children. It's, it's kind of gross. Uh, why does it look like Noah doesn't have a shirt? I don't know, but anyway, yeah, so in case you're a little lost, this is Daniel's family tree. His sister Jennifer, his new wife Erin. He has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven, eight. So I was correct. Eight children. You already know about Lilith and Angela. And then with Mary Sue, Daniel had a third child, Noah Pleasant. Uh, Noah was the makeup baby, sort of. Mary Sue did catch Daniel cheating with Kaylin, just like it's scripted. But they actually decided to get back together, whether that was because Mary Sue really loves Daniel or if it's just because she was more concerned about appearances, who is to say? But they did get back together. They had a makeup baby, and that was Noah. And then when Noah was just an infant or a toddler, I forget, um, Mary Sue actually caught Daniel cheating with Kaylin again, and she said, enough is enough. I don't have to deal with this, and she kicked him out, and that's the story of their divorce. Just to catch you back up. Then, also, out of uh, wedlock, you know, he knocked up Chloe Curious while he was still married to Mary Sue, and that is how Henry Curious came to be. Like I mentioned earlier, Chloe is a romance sim, so she had no desire to marry Daniel. She got pregnant on accident. They kept the baby. Uh, he decided... They decided to leave Henry with the Curious surname because, again, at the time, Daniel was still married to Mary Sue, and it didn't seem right to call him a Pleasant because he's, like, you know, a bastard. So <laughs> that's not a nice way to say it, but it's just the truth. Chloe was willing to hide that for, for Daniel, and I'm also... This is all of Henry's siblings. It's insane. So, But we're going to go back to Daniel. <laughs> Okay, and after, I think Henry was actually born a little bit before Noah. Uh, they're about the same age, very close. But then after that, of course, we also have um, Iris and Grace. So I think that I messed up a little bit. <laughs> I forgot about Iris and Grace, but you remember this from the Pleasant household. We already played them uh, at the beginning of our rounds. So just to reiterate, Daniel's children in order, Angela and Lilith, Grace and Iris, Henry, Noah, and then his two youngest twins, Gemma and Evan. Uh, and then, of course, he has his three grandchildren. He has two grandsons from Lilith, Kai, and Zeke. And then he has one granddaughter from Angela, Alice. So, And I don't think Lilith or Angela currently are going to have any more kids anytime soon. So, yeah. Sorry, that was a lot. But I just wanted to point out that his family tree is growing. So let's take a look at the kids. Do they need anything? 
Uh, they need to be potty trained, and Daniel is going to watch TV instead. That's cool. Let's go potty train the kids. Daniel is going to have to be a little more hands-on with the children in his household, especially being that Erin is pregnant again, so she's going to need some help while she tries to take care of herself. But I think that Daniel can do it. He has, surprisingly, a pretty good relationship with his kids. Um, it's, even with Grace and Iris and Noah, um, they're all very close, despite the fact that you know he moved out when Noah was just an infant. They are very close. He's already friends with Evan, very close to being friends with Gemma. Um, I suppose his relationship with his older children is not as good because, as we all know, he just was not a very attentive father when they were still in the household. I think that he maybe he realized his mistakes and he just wanted to kind of help make up for that, but it's a little too late with his adult children, so now that he's still popping them out, I mean, he's not popping them, but you know what I mean, uh, now that he's doing that, could be a little bit easier. I am a little worried about Erin. I don't know if she's going to have another pair of twins. Um, it was just bad luck that she had twins. So now Daniel, like the reason he has so many kids is because he's had three sets of twins. It runs in his family, obviously. All right, and he needs to use the restroom himself. And the twins were hungry, and they both need to be put down for a nap pretty soon. Today is Friday, so Daniel does not have to go to work, and neither does Erin, since she is pregnant. I'm going to let her sleep until she's fully rested. Uh, let's find an ACR adjuster to see how close she is to having the baby. Let's see. Pregnancy scanner. <gasps> okay, good. It is only one baby. Uh, she's been pregnant for 34 hours. We may get the baby this round, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll cheat, and we'll just play a little bit longer. Just to ensure that. So which baby has the lower hunger? Gemma. So we're going to place Gemma in her high chair. One thing that I do really wish for sometimes is the ability for a sim to carry two toddlers or infants at once. You know, when they have twins, you kind of have to just repeat all the behaviors over and over. And it's hard work, but I suppose that's what makes it fun. This storm is not playing around. Alright, so see, Gemma's already finished eating by the time we get Evan in his chair. Um, and we're going to go put her down for her nap. They have probably been up all night. It's 10 a.m., so they must have gotten out of their cribs on their own while the parents were sleeping. Oh, so Erin is awake. I think I changed her look a little bit since you guys saw her last. She has more of a maternal... Um, look about her. She changed her hair. She has a different outfit, but we won't be able to see it. I wonder what her maternity wear is. Let's see. I did replace my default replacements, so I changed them from what they were originally. I was just a little bit bored of them. Oh, this is interesting. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't love it. I don't hate it. Uh, the thing is, like, I'm using this, the um, default replacements somebody made. I can't remember the exact ones, but maybe I'll link them in the description. Uh, that you can replace each individual maternity wear color with a different outfit, but the issue with this is the creator did not specify like which outfit is which. You just replace the color. So I replaced blue, and then this is what the blue is, but maybe this isn't what I wanted. They have a lot of different options. It's supposed to be like a mix and match idea. But anywho, um, so now we're going to go put Evan in his crib. And surprisingly, Erin's feeling pretty good. She doesn't have too many needs right now. She wants to play a computer game. Girl, same. So she's going to get on there. She needs some fun anyway. It won't kill Daniel to, you know, do a lot of the toddler work. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I got a pop-up as if there was a fire, but I don't see a fire. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Well, as long as it's out. And here's a better look at the house in the daytime. I realized that it was pretty dark earlier and you couldn't see it. This very nice car, of course, belongs to Daniel because who would he be if he didn't buy himself a nice little sports car? And the backyard is kind of plain and empty, but I think I took some pictures. I did have their wedding back here, so their wedding arch was set up against this wall. And then I built this very pretty tent with some buffet tables and chairs and stuff like that that I thought was really nice. Um... They had a very big wedding. It was like a family reunion. All of Daniel's kids were there. I think even Henry 
might have been there, but I'm not sure. So now that everybody's going to sleep, I kind of forgot that all the lights were, <laughs> were on. We're going to go take a shower and maybe... Oh, there's nothing. There's no leftovers. So he's going to have himself... He's going to make some sandwiches. How about that? He'll, he's going to take care of his wife. I don't recall if he's had any affairs since he got married. He has not. So as we can see that he has some be negative memories of getting engaged and getting married. He did not want to do that. Oh, I take it back. He did have an affair. <laughs> it just doesn't have the get had an affair mood. Not mood lit. What is this? This is not Sims 3. Um, he didn't have the have an affair memory in front of this, so I didn't catch that. But yeah, he woohooed with Bella at some point. Um, must have been in her round, probably. Wow, I really need this rain to chillax. This is getting crazy. He did have a great wedding party, though, so that's nice. And it was a family reunion. But yeah, so like, as I mentioned earlier, he kind of... It wasn't his decision to get married to Aaron. He felt a little coerced. She didn't say, hey, you have to marry me or anything, but she basically was heavily implying it. She's like, hey, I'm not getting any younger. You know, I am having your children and you're not getting any younger either, Daniel. And I don't want my children to grow up in a house without a father. And if you were wondering, does Aaron know that Henry Curious's father is Daniel Pleasant? The answer is yes. So it was not news to Aaron because Chloe actually hooked up with Daniel first. And it was through Chloe that Aaron and Daniel met. Daniel decided, oh, well, this is interesting. A bunch of girls in one house. How many of them can I sleep with? And he managed to bag Aaron. He never did get to Lola or to Kristen because they got snatched up pretty quickly by their respective husbands. So it's a little interesting that Aaron, to me, like, she did not care. She even helped take care of Henry quite a bit uh, to the point that, like, they actually are very close friends. They're BFFs, like, best friends forever. Uh, she helped care for him throughout the majority of his toddlerhood because if you recall from my uberhood introductions, Chloe is not really a super great mother. Um, I don't want to say she's a bad mom, but she definitely does not have her priorities in check. So Aaron kind of took on a little bit of that maternal role. It really hurt Aaron actually to move out of Chloe Curious's house because she was so close and caring for uh, all of her children. So she has Chloe, I'm sorry. Chloe has Henry and then she has Gabe and she has um, the other one. Gabe, what is her name? Ella. Gabe and Ella. So she's not as close with them, actually. But she moved out when they were just infants. But Erin realized, she was like, I'm having my own babies and I need to be with someone that can help me take care of them. And Chloe, I don't want to take care of her kids and mine at the same time. So it hurt her a lot to have to move out of the house. But she did what she had to. Alright, so the twins are awake. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hell, isn't it? Uh... We're going to go take care of them. Oh, and Daniel has to pay child support to Noah and Henry. I'm a little surprised that he didn't pay child support to the twins, but that's fine too. Okay, stop brushing your teeth. Go take care of your kids. Thank you. Poor Daniel. He has really low fun, so I'm going to let him watch TV for a little while. He's been working hard. I'm not sure whose apple tree this is out here. Okay, the phone's ringing. Okay, I was like, where is the phone? Is that his cell phone? Yes, so we'll answer the cell phone. Could be another woman. Let's see, who is it? Oh, so I was correct. So this is Carrie Pratt. She actually went out on a date once with Rip Grunt, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, would you like to go on an outing downtown? Hmm. It's a Friday at 2.30. It's kind of random, a random time to be going downtown. I want to say yes, but I really do not think that Aaron would be okay with Daniel going out on the town while she is home alone, stuck with the kids. At least not right now. They'll make exceptions. They'll have time for each other to, like, one of them will stay home with the kids. But with the twins, like, their hands are just a little too full. Okay, and you're not going to watch the Weather Channel. You're going to watch sports because that's his favorite hobby. All right, so that's one child potty trained, and let's tickle her. She needs some aspiration points, so there we go. And then she needs to get out of the way because we need to potty train. I only have one potty because there was simply just no room to put any more potties in. 
if I wanted them to have toys and things like that. Like, this... The bedrooms being this small is definitely... Oh, wait. What is happening? <laughs> no. Evan, not inside your mother. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, he pottied. That's great. He only has once to interact with Daniel. And these toddlers are still four days away from becoming children. Ugh. So that's great because um, they are not going to be aging up during this round. So we're going to have to deal with toddlers the entire time. Cool, 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 cool. And we're going to bathe Evan. I'm just going to slowly but surely. It's, I'm, hate to break it to you guys, but most of this rotation will probably just be spent taking care of the children. But such is life, am I right? Oh, AJ wants to speak to Aaron. When did they become friends? I don't remember that. Okay, Daniel picked up that book. Oh, thank you. And he immediately was like, no, never mind. I don't want to read. What am I doing? I'm going to have him come spray and tend this tree. I don't know who... Maybe the tree came with the house, actually. But might as well take care of it. It's not doing well. Evan's getting a bath. Daniel does have the wants to ask a sim on a date. I'm going to lock that in because, listen... I'm sorry, I don't want to purposely make him have an affair. If he was going to have an affair, like, I would want him to, you know, do that autonomously. Oops. But, at the same time, it just wouldn't be Daniel Pleasant if he wasn't having an affair. And so something else I mentioned earlier, you know, wanting to be able to multitask with the toddlers. I would love the ability to bathe them together. That would be cute. Obviously, this is a very old game, so it's a little bit too late to be asking EA to update, of course. This is more like Sims 4 stuff, I suppose. But, hey, if any modders are out there watching, I like to believe anything is possible. Alright, and so, again, with the hunger and stuff, I'm gonna have her clean this, take a shower. It's time for Daniel to start taking care of the kids again. Yeah, it's never-ending. I might speed through some of this. Alrighty, so it's a little bit later in the evening and poor Erin, her needs are not doing well. She is really pooped. She's had a hard day, I guess. So we're going to just have her quickly throw Evan in his crib. Yeah, because he needs to go to sleep uh, and I'm going to let her just go take care of herself. It is time. Time for her to get some rest. Daniel's actually down here. I had Aaron give Gemma some smart milk and Daniel's actually teaching Gemma how to walk because she has the want. Oh, but her needs are also not good. So we're going to take a break from that, I guess. I was kind of thinking that was probably going to happen. So we're just going to potty train Gemma and then put her down for a nap as well. And then everybody is just going to go to bed. Oh, I don't think that she finished. Yeah, she might be too tired. I'll try one more time, but I really don't think that... Oh, great. That's wonderful. She woke up her brother. Cool. Good job. Uh, yeah, so that's a no. All right, poop your diaper then. See if I give a shit. Okay, go. Good jeez. And unfortunately, the only way to get Evan to go back to sleep is to take him out of the crib and put him back. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Like, I could have sworn, like, I've seen toddlers put themselves to sleep before after just sitting in the crib, but maybe they just have to be bone-dead exhausted. I don't know. But anyway, so that marks the end of night one, and then we only have the rest of Sunday until 6 a.m. on Monday, and then that's going to be it. Or no, I'm sorry, 6 a.m. on Sunday. Whatever. All right, it's only 1.30, and Evan's already awake. Um, he doesn't really need anything right now, so I guess I will just let... I will let them stay asleep. Okay, but now it's going to be time to get up. See if we can potty train Gemma without her pooping her diaper. Who is to tell? Oh, the smart milk is still in effect, so she's probably going to get potty trained. Yep. Good job. I find it more difficult, of course, to get them to learn all of their toddler skills when there are twins. Because uh, so much of the time is just dedicated to taking care of them, making sure that they... Uh, their needs are being kept up with so yeah, she wants to be tickled again. That's all they ever want. I feel like All right, and then we're gonna potty train Evan Gemma needs to move. I suppose that maybe Erin's already gotten her second baby bump I don't think I've seen her get a bump since we've been in here in this round 
So let's see, how close are we now? I don't, I'm not really good at calculating the time. 54 hours. So another 12 hours would be 4 p.m. And she would be at about 66. So yeah, I, I feel like we may have the baby by Sunday at 6 a.m. Yeah, I just don't know math. <laughs> I can't be bothered to calculate it right now. So yeah. Um, toddlers are okay now. I'm gonna have, oops, we left the sandwiches out. I'm gonna have Erin come down and take care of herself, get something to eat. I did see that she and Daniel both had an extra aspiration benefit, so I gave Erin the slower knee decay fun and hunger, and I think I gave Daniel the slower bladder and hygiene decay. So, that's nice. Hopefully that will help a little bit. She's going to serve some pancakes. She wants to serve a meal anyway. And yeah, the kids are just up here kind of doing whatever. They don't have a lot of toy options. I have two toys in Gemma's room and one with a toy box. They, they Toddlers cannot use the toy box until they learn to walk though. So hopefully I can get them both to learn how to walk pretty soon. I don't always focus on the toddler skills, but it just helps keep their aspiration high enough uh, that they don't age up poorly. I find that this is also usually a good bonding time for the kids and the parents. Alright. We're going to clean up this bottle. Daniel is awake now, so we're going to see what Evan needs since he's close by. He really wants to be snuggled. He just wants some attention from his father. That sounds about right. We're going to tickle him, we're going to snuggle him, and then we're actually going to put him down for a nap. I don't want her playing on the xylophone while Evan goes to sleep because it will wake her up. Oh, they just became best friends. That's sweet. Alright, and Gemma's a little hungry, so we're going to put her in the high chair. Erin has a day off today, I would assume so. She's still on maternity leave. Every now and then, I will send a sim to work while they're pregnant, but very rarely. Just for the being that they get vacation pay anyway for being on maternity leave, so unless they're like really dying for a promotion or something, I don't see the point. Alright, so Erin, again. <laughs> I know she woke up before her asper or, I'm sorry, energy was completely full, but it still makes no sense that she would be this tired. While she goes upstairs, I'm going to have her put Gemma in her crib, though. Okay, I'm gonna clean up after ourselves. Daniel is surprisingly like a little bit neater, um, at least definitely neater than like Don Lothario, for example. So I don't suppose he would mind helping clean out around, clean up around the house. All right, everybody's taking a nap, and we're gonna get Daniel up here to take it. Wow, I feel like we just put him down. <laughs> the toddlers do not sleep for long periods of time at all. Which is, like, realistic, I guess. Alright, whenever you are done, you're going to potty train Evan. I think I may have m messed up a little bit, naming their names so similarly. So we have Aaron and Evan. And then Evan and Gemma. And so uh, sometimes I want to say, like, Jevin. or, <laughs> But it's uh, a little bit of a tongue twister for me. Alright. Yay! So now he wants to be snuggled, tickled. I cannot believe he's still not any closer to getting potty trained. So we're just going to pay him some attention. And I suppose he's a little hungry, so we'll bring him downstairs. I don't see how Daniel got more aspiration points, but he's in gold, so now he can actually make smart milk for Evan. And we're going to do that because after his hunger goes up, he'll actually have the uh, energy and stuff to get to learn how to walk, I mean. See, he's autonomously cleaning over there. All right, we're going to teach Evan to walk. Gemma is awake. She can let herself out of her crib. And when she does, she is officially potty trained so she can go take care of her bladder herself. That's a big reason that I like the toddlers to at least be potty trained so that they can just not constantly have a dirty diaper and I don't have to constantly take them to the potty. So... Yeah. 
I suppose if you're like a really realistic Sims 2 player, you wouldn't use the Smart Milk because it's a little bit like cheating in a way. But I love Smart Milk. I couldn't live without it. I don't see how... I don't think I... I rarely ever have toddlers learn their toddler skills without the Smart Milk. It just takes too much time. Too much time that has to be focused on their needs. So, yeah. Anyway, yay. Evan has officially learned how to walk. Now he's in Platinum, which is great. He's a little bit tired, but like not super tired enough that he would need a nap anyway. But we're going to bring him upstairs so that, oops, well, I kind of wanted you to, so that he has like a toy or something to play with. I don't have any toddler toys downstairs. <laughs> oh, okay, we're running. All right, put Ed in here. And then I'm going to have Gemma come out. Daniel's still feeling pretty good. So we're going to finish teaching Gemma how to walk too. Um, she doesn't have the smart milk, you know, in her system anymore, but sometimes, like, it lasts for a full 24 hours or so later. Alright, and Erin is awake. Have her come take a shower, and her fun is low. She wants to play a computer game again. We need to buy some more computer games, actually. I'm going to shop. Buy video games. Yay! Alright, so Gemma just learned how to walk, so now the only toddler skill she needs is to talk, which is great. Especially because they still have three days before they become children, so it's not like I'm in a time crunch or anything, but I, I do like to try to get them out of the way as much as I can. Alright, so now she doesn't really need anything. We're going to leave her alone. Daniel's going to come downstairs and clean up this bottle. I'm going to get something to eat. Alright, so the only two options for the video game is The Sims Bustin' Out or Rush Hour. I'm going to buy Bustin' Out, and then we're going to play The Sims Bustin' Out. Uh, we're going to have some leftover pancakes at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh man, I think I need to get Evan on the potty, actually. I love The Sims Bustin' Out. I actually have it on my PS2 emulator. I have streamed it in the past, and I want to get back to it. It's such a good game. It's very nostalgic to me. I played The Sims Bustin' Out uh, on the PlayStation 2 quite a bit when I was little. Like, little, little. Like, I'm talking like six or seven years old. I never really did get to complete it, though. All right, so we're going to answer the phone. When Daniel's done eating, we're going to come up here and potty train Evan. Oh, and look who's calling to speak to Aaron, no less. It is Iris Pleasant. Um, I don't think that Aaron knows all of Daniel's children. I think I tried to get her to interact with most of them at the wedding. So she just met Iris. Yeah, she's very new to that. Obviously, she's best friends with Henry because they used to live together. Um, and she knows Grace. She met her at the wedding. She knows Angela. Uh, I don't remember if Lilith was at the wedding. I think she may have been. But regardless, she doesn't know Lilith Pleasant at all. And it doesn't appear that she knows Noah either, so. The thing about Daniel's kids is he just doesn't have them around a lot. So whenever I play on the children's lots, it's easier to invite Daniel over than it is to invite all of Daniel's kids to his house. Again, it's not that he's a bad father. It's probably just the fact that he is not as considerate of them as they are of him, if that makes sense. It doesn't really occur to him, like, oh, hey, maybe I should give my daughters a phone call today. Um, it isn't that he forgets about them. It just doesn't occur to him. So do with that information what you will. Some people would still call that a bad father, but I see it more in the terms of not negligence, but just, yeah, inconsideration. Oh, this is cute. So, Aaron is down here playing with Gemma. I like when they do that. Daniel actually wants to gain a skill point. He doesn't need any skill point for anything. Um, I don't know why I thought his favorite hobby was sports. It's tinkering. That's annoying. Anyway, so I'm just going to let him kind of do whatever he's going to do. 67 hours. Okay, wait. So, that that's good, though. 67. Um... So the pregnancies last for 75 hours. So she only has eight more hours until she gives birth. So that's going to be sometime in the evening. That's good. We're going to see a baby. I'm excited. I'm always excited about new babies, even when they don't have enough room for them. <laughs> All right. He wants to... 
it is raining again. I was gonna buy like one of those like uh, model trains or something to put outside, but it is raining again. It's a very rainy summer for this family. All right, two days away from the toddlers growing up. Gemma really has some low needs, so we're gonna take care of that. She's gonna potty, and I'm just gonna put her to bed, because if I take her downstairs to put her in the high chair, she's probably so tired, she's just gonna throw a fit. Here we go. And everybody just aged up again, so I don't know if I pointed this out, but Aaron is 16 days away from becoming an elder, whereas Daniel is only 4 days from becoming an elder. He's quite a bit older than her. A um, little weird, but, you know... It's not that there's such an age gap that she was like a child when they met or anything like that. Uh, she was a fully grown adult, but it's going to be odd because she's going to be an adult while he's an elder for so much longer. The same thing happened in my old Pleasant View when Daniel Pleasant married uh, Brandy Broke because he's so much older than her as it is. So he died of old age well before she did. Okay, we're hungry. She wants to serve a meal. This time it's dinner time, so instead of pancakes, we're gonna have some spaghetti. That's one of my favorite things to make in The Sims 2. And now it's a Saturday night. I am actually going to uh, have Daniel call and ask somebody on a date. I want to see who his... Oh, he currently has the hots for Bella Goth. Okay. Because... His lifetime wand is to woohoo with 20 different sims. Hold on, let's do some math. So he's already woohooed with Bella. And he's woohooed with Nina. And Aaron. So this is three. And, well, that's Bella again. And Aaron again. Okay, who else? Chloe, that's four. And Caitlin is five. Wow, and Mary Sue is six. He's only woohooed with six sims in his whole life. That's kind of crazy. He's not been as adventurous as I thought, as I thought he was. I think the thing is, he uh, has made the moves on some people, but just didn't get as far. So someone that he has a high attraction with is Rose Day. She has been out on a date with Rip Grunt a couple times. He's got a crush on this Brandy Letourneau, though. So since they already have a crush, it might be easier to woohoo. So let's ask her on the date. He's going to tell Aaron that he has- Oh no, not the home! <laughs> no, wait! <laughs> Hold on. So, oh no, and this has been knocked over. Um, oh dear. This is- oh no. What have- what have I done? So, whenever his date spawns on the lot, Aaron is going to see the date and immediately be upset. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know why I clicked that. I was talking and not paying attention. Maybe I can just like... Because I feel like it's too silly. Because I could just let it happen and be like, Oh, Daniel, you idiot. But like, no, he's not that stupid. So, I just... I I just... We're gonna, we're gonna undo this. First of all, hi. She's in her work uniform or something. Yeah, this this cannot happen. This is not happening. Alright, so now she's gone. And I don't think it counts as anything. Oh, he does have an, uh, a fair memory. No, we're going to try that one more time. <laughs> Whoopsie! Alright, we're gonna call Ask Out on Date. Oh, but he doesn't have the want anymore. Ugh, whatever, but still. And we're gonna say that he's telling Aaron that he has to go out. Maybe some guys from work have invited him out. And it's just this one time. They're gonna go downtown. Where are they gonna go? Um... We're gonna go to Pure. It is a Saturday night. He's a little tired. He's a little old to be going clubbing, that's for sure. But something tells me that Brandy is maybe a little bit younger, so <laughs> maybe she uh, invited him to go to the club. All right, so here we are at Pure. This place is kind of crazy, but I like it. Uh, there's these like fire lamps everywhere. If a sim gets too close to those, they'll usually set themselves on fire. 
So yeah, let's see what, um, what's going on. So Brandy is a knowledge sim. They already have a crush on each other. I have no recollection if they've ever, they must have gone on a date together before because he doesn't have a memory of going on a first date with her. Let's see. So he's had a dream date with Aaron in the past, Nina, um, yeah, lots of Aaron and Nina. Oh, and he had a dream date with Brandy. It looks like the furthest they got was making out. So this was a while back. This was before he even had Evan and Gemma. So, yeah, they're reconnecting. That's what this is. So he's gonna he's gonna smooth talk her. She must have lost a fight with somebody. She was thinking about that. Wow. I feel like since they already have such a well-established relationship, it's gonna be pretty easy to uh, to get them to woohoo. Yeah, there we go. So now we're already in love. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Oh my god, not the wanting to get engaged. Daniel just really has a way with women, you know? And now we're tickling. She wants to have a pillow fight. Good lord. Uh, he wants to dance, so maybe we'll go down here and do a little dance. Ivy Copper is here. And Clay Gaither. That's a townie's name I've never heard before. Oh, he ran. Maybe he'll introduce himself to Ivy <laughs> while he's waiting for his date to catch up. Cool, of course they have two bolts of chemistry. Ivy went out on a date with uh, Daniel Lothario, if I'm not mistaken. Oh lord. Alright, so now we're gonna dance. This is really happening in club, you know. The whole four people on the dance floor. Okay, so now he wants to slow dance, so maybe we will request a slow song. I love it when they make fun of other sims dancing, as if you weren't just doing the same thing. Oh no, not Mrs. Crumplebottom. <gasps> Nina Curious is here. I had completely forgotten she was pregnant. Oh! Well, here's an interesting turn of events. Um, Daniel and Brandy appear to be going to get in the hot tub. <laughs> Presumably for an ACR woohoo. Oh dear. Well, I mean, just jump right to it. Oops. No. Jump right to it. I don't know who just spent 15 simoleons of my money, but enjoy. So, I wonder, okay, yes, oh no, okay, yes, they're cuddling, yeah, cool. Nina Curious is here, they're in love, I think, yeah, but, you know, Nina's married to somebody else, I don't think that she's gonna get jealous as a romance sim. Goneril Cap is here, Lucy Goth is here, I didn't even recognize her, I must have gotten a new default replacement for her hair, it's kind of cute, actually. Goneril is here. She's in the same outfit as Brandy. Cool. Well, you guys have fun. Two pregnant ladies just busting it down on the dance floor. And then we're up here in the rain. You guys are definitely going to get struck by lightning. Oh, and of course there's an evil witch here. What the? Alright. She decided she didn't want any more of that, I guess. Let's see, let's just appease one of her wants. She wants to play a pillow fight, so let's just pull pillows out of her back pockets and get cracking. There you go. Alright, now we have the romantic wants. So now she wants to make out and they're going to have some romantic kisses up here in the rain. And now is she wants to have her very first woohoo with Daniel. Oh. He doesn't even want to woohoo yet. I'll, I'll wait until he wants to as well. Let's ask her to slow dance. Okay, there it is. That was easy. All right, we're not. We're just gonna stop with this because it's already midnight. We need to wrap this up. So we're going to casual woohoo in the hot tub. I wonder what made them stop to begin with. Perhaps Brandy's needs are not super good. But hopefully we can get this done over with. Man, she must be a fighter. She likes to talk about fighting a lot. Think about how she loses all these fights. Of course, Mrs. Crumplebottom is here to rain on the parade. Thank you. Thank you for that. Goodness gracious. How hard can it be? Casual? Just skip everything. Just go right for it. You already made out earlier, so. Yay! Enjoy that. Oh, and over here we have Vidkin Curious just hanging out. Oh, that's Nina's husband. I guess Nina left. Alright, well. Yay! So we woohooed. Everybody's happy. I'm sure it was great. 
Okay, and um, he doesn't have the wand to have a dream day. I usually use that as the excuse to get to, to uh, end the day, but we're going to end it anyway because it's already almost 2 a.m. All right, and he's pretty happy. That little little dirt bag left his wife and children at home to come out to a club on a Saturday night to woohoo with a random woman. I usually will roll a number between 1 and 100 to see if there is any chance that Brandy Letourneau got pregnant, but we're not going to be doing that because Daniel already has enough kids, okay? Alright, so one thing is Daniel is actually coming home at the same time that he left. I had to take the Community Lot Time mod out of my game because I have been having some glitches with it where when my sims go to work in their car, they leave and then they don't come home. It, and I get a pop-up from the community lot time mod as if they went to a community lot saying that they are due home um at in like 57 hours or something like that <laughs> so what i'm gonna do to simulate that daniel was gone until two o'clock in the morning um is he is going to <laughs> stand still <laughs> and i'm just gonna put him outside where nobody can see him and we're just going to pretend that he was gone he'll be fine his knees are fine so yeah Aaron is here alone that's <laughs> it's silly it's very silly but it's just how I'm gonna do it for right now until I can put that mod back in see if maybe I have a mod conflict or something so Evan is the only baby that's awake and he wants to learn how to talk maybe we'll just give him a bath he seems like he needed some hygiene Unfortunately, because she was about to have the baby, oh, not token stats, I'm pretty sure that Erin is going to have, yeah, she's going to give birth while Daniel is, you know, gone. I say gone in quotation marks, but you know, he's, he's gone. He was at the club until roughly 2 a.m. Crazy. So, oh, and Gemma's awake now. Of course he needs a bottle now. Oh, goodness me. All right. Oh, oh, okay. It's happening right now. Cool. She's giving birth. And Daniel's not here. That's so sad. Of course, while Erin is giving birth to her and Daniel's child, Brandy Letourneau comes by the house and drops off a telescope as a gift because she enjoyed her date with Daniel so much. Of course. Oh no, his comfort tanks? I don't know what that's from. It was perfectly fine earlier, but anyway. Yeah, he's, he's still not home yet, so he's going to have to be okay for now. We're having a baby. Let's see if it's going to be... Oh, it's a boy. I don't know why. Okay, I had it in speed too. My bad. <gasps> Let's look. Oh my goodness. Of course, it's another red-headed little boy with green eyes. Of course, that redhead gene is strong. It's going to be a Daniel Jr. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be naming this little boy Vince Pleasant. I thought that was just the right amount of casual... Um, and actually like a good name that for a future adult sim <laughs> so I was gonna go with Victor but Victor's just a little too like formal to me and then I didn't want to have to call him Vic so yeah it's Vince Pleasant we just had a baby goodness great now what are we gonna do with him <laughs> I'm gonna have to find the spot for a crib maybe is that a two tile let's see eventually I will combine the rooms so like maybe I will put Gemma in the smaller room and put the two boys in the bigger room but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit two beds in there like we may have to move this family to a bigger house I would hate to have to do that because they just moved here but yeah I'm gonna use one of these cute little new cribs that I got from Lord Crumps he actually just updated some conversions from The Sims 4 oh it fits but it like sits in front of the door oh shoot oh there we go there we go but him, it's going to be a hallway baby. Listen, are you a real Sims 2 player if you've never had a hallway baby? I don't know. So we're just going to do a white. I can't see. Hold on. I need to turn the light on. There we go. White crib. Um, the bedding on this one is very plain. This is like a base game crib. It's called Bland Co. <laughs> I like it though. Uh, we'll just do the, that one. I guess that's okay. And we already have a changing table and stuff. We don't really need anything else besides that. So yay! Little baby's been born. We're gonna cuddle Vince. Oh, she is so tired though. So I'm just gonna have her put him in the crib and go back to bed. 
the twins are just over here having the times of their lives, but they're a little tired. So as soon as it rolls over to, yep, 2 a.m., yay, Daniel has just gotten home. He's feeling like crap. <laughs> His comfort level tanked. I guess that their comfort goes lower whenever they uh, just pose, maybe? I don't know. I've never noticed that before. But either way, you don't have time to take care of yourself. We gotta do something with the kids. So I'm going to have him come up here. He's going to... First, he's going to feed a bottle to Vince. He's going to come meet his new son. Wow, so that is the ninth child of Daniel's. Nine kids. Man, too bad he's not a family sim, and then we could actually complete the want of having ten kids, because I've never done that before. I don't think I've ever had a sim have that many kids. Crazy. All right, we're going to come put Vince back in his crib. We're going to put Evan in his crib. And Gemma has other needs to look at, but everybody's just going to go to bed. <laughs> everybody's going to bed. All right. And with that, I mean, it's basically, it's 4 a.m., so I don't think anything else is going to happen, though. Uh, that marks the end of our rotation with the Pleasants. Um, it was both uneventful and eventful at the same time. We had another baby enter the house. Oops. Okay. Yeah, another baby in the house, and uh, I'm going to have Daniel get up this time, unless they're both going to get up. Let's see. Nope. Okay. He's going to come change Vince's diaper. Anyway, sorry, to finish my thought, we had another baby come into the house. We taught the kids mostly all of their toddler skills. And in all of that, taking care of his children and everything, he still found the time to go out and have an affair and woohoo with someone. Nobody can say Daniel's not good at multitasking, okay? He can handle it all. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and Erin, now that she's no longer pregnant, she'll be going back to work soon. She's going to hopefully continue the rise in her career. Her lifetime want is to become a celebrity chef, so maybe she can work on that some more. The next time we visit this household, we're also going to get to see Evan and Gemma grow up to children. We're going to see Vince become a toddler. Um, and hopefully next time we can also have like a little bit of a family reunion. I plan to invite if not all, at least most of Daniel's children over so that they can meet their newer siblings and just have like a little family day. It's crazy that anytime Daniel is going to invite his children over from now on, it's going to count as a family reunion because it's like 10 Sims. That's, that's really wild to me. But yeah, without further ado, that is going to have to be the end of it because it's now Sunday at 6 a.m. All right, guys, and with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single like and subscription from you. It really means the world to me, and it makes such a difference for the channel, so thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one where we are going to be actually moving on. I'm so excited because this is officially the last household that we're going to play in Pleasant View. It is not the last household that we have in Pleasant View because we still need to play with Bottom, Summer Dream, and Hal Cap. They have graduated university and moved to Pleasant View but we are going to go ahead and circle back to them because they are rather new to Pleasant View and we're going to move on to Veronaville now this is a household in the hood that I am very excited to get back to because it has been a while and the next household we visit is going to actually be with consort Dina and their children and Tabalt and it's just going to be a lot going on and I'm super excited yeah thank you again so so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye